you know how some people seems like they have like uh, intuition or instincts about certain situations or about how to read certain people and different things I'm pretty sure I have some kind of gift in finding cool out of the way fishing holes maybe it's because that's all I do is try to find things I am in Michigan and this is my fifth day being here I uh, got here Tuesday I think it I think I got up here Tuesday night it's Saturday if that's five days I'm not sure um, I'm actually heading back south tomorrow to kind of go back towards Tennessee but I, I, I wanted to get some fishing in, and the fishing in Michigan is is not what I expected. It's a lot different. I thought I would come up here, it'd be like rocky points, you know, deep fishing, blah, blah, blah. Most everything is shallow and grassy. It's totally crazy. There's so many like little bitty, like I've only experienced a little bit, but there's all these small little natural lakes, and they all, and like they connect. They have like little creeks that connect to another lake, little creeks connect to another lake. I looked up this place last night, and marked it and I was like it looks like a good little spot there's a couple little lakes didn't see access but I saw a road where the bridge went across I pull up right now and there's a truck with a little boat so I'm like it is, is like the perfect little spot let's go check it out so there's so many of these little streams Oop, just stepped in mud. oh dude look yeah so it's flowing and these, these things oh wow you can't even get any further so that goes um, in the ground it goes in a creek there's oh there's a little bass there's a bunch of sunfish right there um these little canal type things are more what i would think oh no little bass what i would think you'd find somewhere else but check this out and look there's a boat on there like it looks like a little ditch of nothing but it holds a lot of water it's flowing water there's one two uh, where did I see another three or four little bass swimming around? There's tons of sunfish. This is a perfect kayak spot. This is not what I imagined fishing in Michigan, getting in these little type of places that just so much weeds and grass and stuff, but they're so cool to explore. So, uh, I'm gonna get in here and we're gonna go up that way. I know there's supposed to be a lake up there, so like these lakes, they don't have, a lot of them don't have like spillways, they just it'd be a lake that all of a sudden it goes into a little channel of a creek flows maybe down to another lake so let's go explore this lake probably gonna be bass hopefully some sunfish i'm not sure really what else is gonna be in here whole access anyways because there's already a guy here with a little boat i don't know what i don't know what he put in here he must uh oh there's a fish we got a fish on Bluegill, nice bluegill. First fish today. Just a little bluegill on the Bobby Garland. Look at his um, his gill is like super black. I don't know if you can see that or tell it, but it's like super dark. I've never seen one that dark. I don't think. Okay, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for whatever we can catch, whatever we can come across. Hopefully, some more stuff. These are the kind of trips that like today, I knew I was gonna be laid back, take it easy. I've been up here kind of, I'd fished hard, really hard for a few days and today was gonna be a lazy day. And you know what? Sometimes fishing, fishing hard is fun. And you're like going for this, going for that. When you come across a place you know nothing about, have no expectations, and you're not even going hardcore those are the most relaxing for me and this is gonna be one of those days so it's gonna be nice easy relaxing hopefully this turns into a video well, i don't know where the guy with the boat went unless this lake goes to another lake this is like a basically a looks like a pond but it's a natural little lake and there's I think there's a I think the creek there's creeks that kind of they just kind of flow from one to another well I ain't seen a bass over eight inches and I haven't had a single hit or nothing I know everybody's saying throw frog up in there so I'm gonna throw a frog up in there I don't know well it doesn't look I don't think it could get any more froggy looking than this. Just gotta figure out how to work it. Oh, 
I just had a hit. I just, yes. Oh, it came off. I was too impatient. Oh, okay. That was what. That's what frog fishing's like. Oh, okay. okay. That was cool. I'll have to admit. Let's see if we can do it again. I just gotta have patience and work it in these holes. Come on. There's something hitting over there. Hit my frog, come on. Come get it. Got one, got one. Yes, yes. Oh, I did it. I did it. I caught a frogfish the way you're supposed to do it. I feel like a genius up here. Boom, boom. I threw over there. I don't care if I catch 10 that size, that would be amazing. One pounder. <laughs> feel like I've mastered something. Now, I don't think this is the right frog. I didn't even bring my other frogs. I meant to grab them, but I forgot. They're in a different box. I got like, I got a couple with me, but this is the um, Booyah Poppin' Frog, which I think will be fine. I probably need one that's just straight and I can just like work it through. But if I get in one of these holes, I'm gonna just kind of sit there and pop it and let that fish come get it. Oh, he popped it out of the water. Come on, come back and get it. Come on, follow it, follow it, follow it. Right there, it's in an open area. Eat it. Man, as you can see, I'm getting blown by the wind. I actually have the anchor system and I forgot to bring the weight. Well, I didn't forget, I didn't think I'd need it today. I could have anchored right there here and fished this water. But we're gonna let the wind blow us down that way. And I think just try to fish as we go. that time oh yeah <laughs> oh, he followed it up for a while i think i stayed up there where i caught that first one and had two hits and i didn't get another bite so i think i'm just going to cover water i don't know if these uh, if these fish are just like moving through this grass like fast like they're all over the place or what yeah they're Missed him and then he came back and he choked it. What is it he got coming out there? That's a bluegill or something, I think, isn't it? All right. Number two. Do what? Are you going through? Uh, what's up that way? Two more lakes. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am then. So we're going to turn around, so hopefully we won't bother you. Oh, no, that's fine. All right, so we got two more lakes that we can go to. So let's keep on going up this channel. This is really interesting. Oh yeah, that's all I got. Come out and get it. It's a little bass. Here's a. Oh, okay. Let's get this guy off here. Oh, there's, there's a boat up there. So there's a, there's some people up here. There's a boat, and then there's a lake over there. So like a lake here, lake there, kind of connected by these streams. No telling what people are fishing for up here. I always wonder. There's some guys over there, they're sitting, so I imagine they're, I don't know. Oh, it almost looks like another lake over there. This, this place just keeps on going. You put in on the side of the road and you go exploring and it feels like you're traveling canals in the Florida or something where it just, they all connect. Get it, get it. Got it. <laughs> it was right beside me, that was cool. That was cool. Okay, this might work. Ah! Man, he's down in there. Let's do it. This guy's firing up right there. 
Okay. We may have got down to something. I don't know if we can see that bite. I got to pedal against the wind to keep up, but there's all these, I, th I guess they're little pads, little, little pads all through here. And imagine there's just tons of one pound bass. This is the Pad Crasher Junior. This is a smaller frog, but it's got, but it's got this style, whatever this is called, where I can work it through the weeds and it actually ought to be perfect for these fish. So I'm not being able to throw it as far, but I don't have to throw it real far, really, I don't think. Look at these lily pads. <laughs> Look at them blow up with the wind. It's like a, it's a wave effect. Oh my goodness. I thought I let him take it. I saw him come out of the water for it. There he is. Got him time. Oh, missed him again. I watched him eat it. Must be just small. He's pretty, he was pretty small. I watched that guy come out of the water right at the bank. Oh, there's like a little, little channel back here. Now this looks fishy. Yes, that was awesome. Textbook right there. <laughs> Man, these guys might not be big, but they sure make you smile. Perfect. I covered that little area, two or three casts. I'm like, there's got to be a frog, or got to be a fish in that stuff right there. And there was. All right, is there any more? Oh, yeah. Oh, that felt fun. Oh, this might be it. I can't tell he's bigger. Oh, he's got me stuck. All right, we got to go get him. Oh no, it's free. Is this a bigger one? Am I actually gonna get a, wow, a decent sized fish out of here? I can't tell. Hey, it is a little bit bigger, but he's not a giant, but that was awesome. That was an awesome hit. Maybe not that much bigger. Look how he choked that frog. Oh my, no, he's littler. This is, <laughs> this is maybe the smallest one. They are wrecking this thing. And I'm having a blast. I don't care if they are 12 inches, which I love a 12 inch bass. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with that. That's two out of this little spot here. I just, I think, cause I can, there, I can actually, there's, it's more open. It's whatever that P stuff is. I can work the frog through there and they can, they can get it. I think there, there's probably bass all through these areas, but it's just trying to get it in a little spot where they can hit it, I think. Got that one. <laughs> Ooh, these guys are feisty. What? <gasps> no way! No way! Oh my, I got a bow fin. Yes! Yes! This is like, I don't know. I'm excited. I got a bow fin on a frog. Oh, he just came off. He just, oh my goodness, he just came off. This has been insane. That was such a cool bite. Now we know there's bow fin in here. Didn't mess up my frog, still good. Just to clarify, I am having a blast. This is this is awesome. I haven't even been out here two hours yet, so I'm getting ready to change the battery in my GoPro because it lasts about two hours. And this this is this is better than I thought. Have I caught anything giant or even like something picture worthy? No, but this is, this is so much fun. Especially when you, it's something totally random, place never been. And I just feel like I'm gonna catch a bunch more. I'm gonna look for these little out of the way places, start covering these lily pads and Dude, yanking these uh, bass. I'm glad I bought this combo. Like this is a Dobbins 7.3 frog rod. Uh, we got a loose reel and 40 pound braid. And I bought this just for situations like this. This is working out just like I had, just, I, don't, I mean, I can't even play in this. This is working out way better than I planned. I wanted to come in here and explore. Thought I'd be fishing for mostly pan fish. And then I came across this and this is too good. What a, oh, yes, it's another bow fin, I think. No, it's just a bass, but a good bass. Oh man, that's a nice bass, skinny. He was so long and skinny, that's why I thought it was a bow fin. That's the perfect 
that that kind of grass that whatever that stuff is that's where i'm gonna look for definitely that's definitely the best place to get them wow long skinny largemouth all right good hit there oh, oh yeah come on got me one more fish back there right yeah <laughs> how did i call that that was too cool perfect timing thank you for being a part and a willing participant in today's video all right so that i don't know how to i don't know what that stuff's called that stuff looks like pea soup back there that's where i've gotten so i got two i got three bites out of that one area back in that i fish and now two bites out of that area i don't know if it's because i'm covering more water because i'm not exactly uh going through it or that's where the fish are more concentrated we definitely got like at least some knowledge there oh oh yeah come on goodness this is getting too much fun three out of this spot oh my goodness i could have never thought i'd be catching this many fish on a frog this is getting fun <laughs> actually the first one was just a blast now everyone's just i don't know enjoyable each one as long as i get the hook out of this guy hold on yeah there there it is This little pad crasher junior is getting the work done all right well we're heading out of this lake not heading back home yet which we gotta go back that way through another lake to get back home we're gonna go up uh supposedly one more lake up here hopefully it's shallow and awesome and full of bass and bowfin oh <laughs> I saw that fish follow it. Wow, the water here is so much different. I just threw over to the grass. I saw the fish follow, paused, and hit it. I got some, uh, sounds like sandhill cranes. Are there sandhill cranes up here? All right, so my frog got popped off. Can it go back? Oh, it goes back together pretty easy. Let's make sure. Okay. Oh, we're back in business. another one i watched him come eat i just paused my frog there he came out and hit it wow that's a little bit easier they're coming to me now i don't have to go into this 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 whole leg like the whole vibe is just one little canal to the other it's totally different all right i'm just looking up this leg this leg's actually a pretty good sized lake a lot of docks on it but um but at the very upper end there's a creek coming into it like where it starts and it looks according to the my maps it looks like it like something's changed about it so i don't know if it's deeper shallower there but we gotta at least get to the head of this pool or to this lake and then fish it and then we'll work our way back through them <laughs> i saw that i saw that fish come out i just saw this dark spot is that my one of my best fish today Look how clear the water is in here. So much different. I don't know if the, I don't know how these things work. I have like all these springs. They're just all spring fed and they connect from one to an, one and then somewhere they dump into a river or what. All right, we're up at the uh, top of this one. So hopefully there's some fish like up at the top here where, and there's probably a spring coming in or a little creek. I think it's right over there. Let's let this guy go. Let's go look for some more. Oh, it's super clear up here. This is, okay, so this is where the, oh, wow. I jerked that hard. I had a hit right when I hit the water. I yanked that thing so hard. My reflexes are, are fired up. Oh, something big just went through. See those bubbles right there? And I just saw a swirl, like, it, it could be a big bass up in here. 
Anyway, I don't remember what, this is this is where the stream starts. I, I maybe go up it a little bit. I don't think there's another lake up there. So that means uh got that one. <laughs> that means that um I don't know where it, where it comes from then. Probably not real deep. Thank you. Hey, these guys look a little healthier. Just chewing that frog. Must be small. Oh, did I wait too late or is it just too small? Getting hit soon. Oh, wow, what is that? Oh, it's a huge carp. Oh, there's several bass down there too. That may have been what I saw earlier. There's like a 20 pound carp right there. I heard the first hit. I knew I was going really fast. So I'll let him hit again. Little guy in the grass. Coming right through. I thought I heard a, some frogs. Some actually frogs jumping back in there. Oh my goodness, you missed it twice. Got him that time. <laughs> he hit that, what was that, four times? Missed him twice, threw back, missed it, then hit it again. Four <laughs> times he exploded on that. Your effort wasn't in vain, Mr. Man, he's little. But, fun. Get out of here, geese. I'm trying to fish over here. Or swans. Ah, these guys, these fish are sitting right in my spot. I don't know why they're right, right here. Can't y'all fly off so I can fish here? Oh, something just swam off right there. Well, I don't think the fish are gonna mind. Got it. <laughs> I scared them off. They didn't like that, but I got that bass. Now I came back in here. I wonder if it's the same one I caught earlier. Hold on. I bet there's a bunch of them in here. I'm trying to get these guys out of the way. When I caught that fish, they they got the hint and they didn't like it. Wow, I gotta hit it when I hit the water. I wasn't ready for him. I'm working my way back the channel, back to the first lake. So I've just left the second one. There's, there was three, so I'm going through the channel back to the first. Oh, just lost my rod. Back to the first lake. A little fish in there. And it's getting evening time, which is probably the bite's probably like better, but I mean, I caught all those fish right in the middle of the day. And um, now I'm getting hungry. I need, I need some supper. Well, I'm working my way back. I've been out here for probably three and a half hours now. It's been nonstop fish. Um, you know, probably at least 15 to 20 one pounders that I've caught. And um, I want to explain a couple things. If you're curious, maybe you're new to the channel. Maybe um, you just wonder about things. Maybe you just don't know how. I want to. I want to explain. 
how will today was able to happen? How was I able to be able to do something like this, like it happened today? Now, to me, this was an awesome day of really exciting. Um, this more fish that I've caught on a frog than in the last 10 years, probably. I, something I don't know, uh, don't use a lot, not a lot of confidence in. There's a lot of factors that went into today. And let's just break it down. First off, I'm a Christian, and I just want to thank the Lord for giving me this opportunity to be able to just be able to do everything I'm doing. The water, we give it, he, I believe he created everything and uh, he even created a job for me on YouTube. And I know that that is what he wants me to do. Hopefully I'm being a witness and a testimony and also uh, hopefully bringing some, you know, joy and uh, maybe happiness and just uh, maybe knowledge also to some people that are watching. Also, thanks to some, everybody that is watching. If it wasn't for all these people watching, I wouldn't be able to do this full time. I've almost three years now doing it full time, making an income off most of my revenue off YouTube just from people viewing. Also got some sponsors out there um, that have helped me, like the lures, even the, the lure I was using today is from a sponsor. Another, of course, another one of my sponsors is Old Town. So I, this is a new kayak that I'm in. They sent me a kayak a couple years ago. They just sent me another kayak. This is a PDL 106. Super solid and it's a little bit smaller, easier to carry. Still so easy to stand up. I've been able to set the hook and move around catching those fish. Very good kayak. Pedal drive. I wouldn't be able to explore all the places I can, uh, that I get to explore. I put in um, and you know went up two miles no big deal. So I know a lot of people don't have one of these and I haven't been given something like this. So a couple other things, and it's two YouTubers, a couple of friends of mine that have YouTube channels and um, both of them had an impact and probably didn't think they would have an impact, but I watch, I do watch YouTube, I'm learning, I'm always trying to gain knowledge on just all types of fishing. I don't target largemouth bass all the time. I like to go for a lot of species. Today, from all the knowledge I've learned and just putting things together, the frog was the thing to go to, and once I did, it worked great. Alex, uh, Alex Red Fishing, he made a video up here, I don't even know, a year, maybe two years ago, fishing in Michigan, fishing with a frog, and I was watching that, and it's something I was like, wow, that's interesting. I didn't realize it was like that, where the, the fish are, you know, there's lots of lily pads, and they, you can catch a lot of them on top water. Uh, on a frog because I don't know they do it around me and but I, I never have luck with it another thing was I was um, I was out in the lake and a buddy of mine Steve his channel is um, bass and grass uh, near me we were just out in the lake and ran in a few weeks ago ran to him and he was like I just, I've caught him on the small frog and, he's, and he caught a couple big ones and I was like wow that small frog huh boom boom factors play together I get out here today wasn't really think it wasn't intended on doing topwater or frog fishing because I fished frog fishing yesterday or tried to there was a place really similar I tried catching them on a frog could not get a bite today is totally opposite I had a couple frogs with me I didn't like um, and then I had that little pad crasher and I was like you know what I think this will work I figured out how to cast it well and it just absolutely wore them out today most people here watching can't just go spend a week in fish in Michigan go anywhere they want to go to a random place in some random town some random little lake that there's just thousands of and fish it and you know have fun and just catch catch a bunch of fish or you can't even you can't worth you can't try that you can't do that you don't have the ability to but everybody has the ability to explore around where they're at and just try to find something new maybe a new fish new species to catch maybe a new place you never thought of um, there's just, there's a lot of places out there you don't have to look at other people and be like I can't do exactly what they're doing. But if you like enjoy fishing or if you just want to go out there and explore, like most of my fish is more about exploring and just what is out there. And today was a perfect example of just who knows what you're going to come across. Get out there, try something new. I didn't, they weren't hitting the yumdinger. They weren't hitting their spinnerbait. I couldn't catch bluegill. The frog was one of the lower options. And I'm like, well, it looks like a place where the frog would work. And I learned so much today by doing that. That's really going to help me out in the future. Work our way back. We might get another fish, might not, but this is this has been an awesome day. Really fun, enjoyable. I'm, able, I'm so glad I'm able to get to do this, and uh, I'm always looking forward to the next day because who knows what I'm gonna go do uh, tomorrow. Oh, a little guard just came up, so I'll go over here and make a few more casts. All right, somebody's got to go. These, these ducks are playing chicken. Look at this, literally. Who's giving? Oh. You've been through this before. These ducks are not budging. Hey, I'm bigger. 
Yeah, yeah, we'll see who's chicken. Get out the way. That's what I thought.